Welcome to my channel guys. So today I'm going to show you some books that I use to help me study Japanese and practice reading and writing. So first I have this Japanese dictionary. I got this about a decade ago and I first got this when I was self-studying Japanese on my own. And what I really love about this dictionary is that it's English to Japanese and also Japanese to English. So you can look up English words and you can also look up Japanese words as well. So I used this dictionary to study hiragana and katakana years ago and it was really helpful because it has the pronunciation next to the characters and it also has over a thousand kanji characters and so you can just search up a sound and it will have the corresponding character for the sound. It also has at the back of the dictionary numbers and dates so you can practice counting and reading the days of the months. So this is a great starter dictionary and I would highly recommend it, especially if you're someone that likes physical books. This is a really good starter book to start with. Next, we have the book Japanese for Busy People. So this is actually a gift that I got from a family member and it's kind of dated, but a lot of the information in the book is still relevant. What I like about this book is that it has sentence practices. It also has the signs. So you can practice reading survival Japanese skills and it's just really nice and helpful. It also has romaji letters for people that are still learning how to read hiragana and katakana. And I would say that this is another great beginner book, especially because it has a lot of the basic topics like greeting phrases, how to tell time, the days of the week, things like that. Next is Japanese Kanji Power. So I got this book again years ago when I was self-studying Japanese and I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really used it that much because it was just a lot of information to take in. But I would say if you're a beginner and you really want to study Kanji, this is a great book to start with because it has the elementary school levels, grades one and grade two Japanese levels of Kanji. What I like about this book is that it has the kanji in context, so it has like example sentences and it also tells you the word that the kanji is used. For example, ichi can be also used for ichimai. And so, yeah, I just think that's really helpful. It also has a little box section where you can practice the stroke order, so you can practice writing in kanji. I also got this Japanese textbook. It was a required textbook for my college class and it's pretty good but i wish that we use genki instead but my professor made this textbook herself and so that's why she recommended it for us this textbook is pretty exclusive and hard to find since it's not as popular but i would highly recommend genki instead of this book but it's still a good foundation book to start with because it has the basic elementary japanese language skills that you need to learn like again with telling time conversational skills, basic vocabulary words, kanji, hiragana, katakana, things like that. Then I got this book called Japanese Myths, Legends, and Folk Tales. It's a bilingual book, so it's also in English. And so what I really like about this book is that I can practice reading in Japanese and reading the translation. And it also has something called furigana, where they put the hiragana on top of the kanji. And so that's really going to help me also practicing reading the kanji. And so basically this book is an all in all, it's going to help me practice reading and that's going to be super helpful. And I also love the illustrations. It kind of gives me nostalgia of like books that I used to read when I was a child. And I just love the fact that it just has these cute little stories with lessons, just like when I was little. And so I know this book is going to be really good for me. Then I got this Sailor Moon manga from a Japanese bookstore and I basically just used this because I like Sailor Moon and I like the anime and so I just really want to, I feel like it would help me practice reading because it's something that I'm actually interested in and it's going to be really helpful to practice reading especially because it has furigana for most of the kanji and so it's going to be extremely helpful. Then I got the translation of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. This book is kind of for intermediate people. Even I struggle to read this. And I also have the audiobook to correspond with it just to help me with listening and to understand what I'm reading. 
But yeah, this book is kind of complicated, but I definitely want to challenge myself to practice reading Japanese. And lastly, I got Kiki's Delivery Service. It's a little bit easier than Harry Potter because it's for kids. And yeah, it's just really useful. And it has furigana again, like the other books, for some of the kanji. And that's going to be really helpful for me to practice reading kanji. So this is a book I just recently got. It's called Kanji Pictographics. And what's really cool about this is that it has the picture that corresponds with the kanji character to help you memorize it. And it also has mnemonic devices, again, to help with memorization. And I feel like I'm really going to like this book because mnemonic devices is one of my ways of memorizing and studying. And I think it's going to be really, really helpful. So those are the books that I use to study. Basically, most of the books that I have is to study kanji because that's where I'm at right now on my Japanese level skills. But there are a few beginner books, like I said, that I talked about in this video. And I'll link down the links to the books that you can purchase if you want down below in the description box. And thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I hope this video was helpful. Bye!